Do it! I did do it, so what are we doing? Oh! What are we doing? We're doing the Crota's End Vault- or <laughs> Crota's End Vault of Glass. We're doing Crota's End Raid Clinic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, say your thing. I'm Little Duck and Sheep Head. You're both awesome. Welcome to the animal party, because you're both animals. <laughs> awesome. We're doing Crota's Perfect. End Raid Clinic. So, uh, if you guys didn't know, there's going to be a bunch of changes to Crota's End. And it's coming out on Tuesday, which means you won't be able to do things like uh, cheese the gatekeepers or cheese Crota. So we're taking a whole bunch of people who have maybe completed the Vault of Glass by cheesing or not ever finished it before through the raid. And we're also going to be talking about how it works so you guys can know what you need to do. I think that's what we're doing, Goth. Is that what we're doing? Well, yeah. Everything yeah. except we're doing Crota Zen, not Vault of Glass. But otherwise, yes. We're doing exactly <laughs> that. Did I you say Vault of Glass? Get it right. Video I ruined. Vault of Glass one time. Video <laughs> ruined. <laughs> I'm out. Video <laughs> Restart. Take us to orbit. So basically, I think I'm the only one that the people in the group will be able to hear in real time. Woo! Which is fun. It's a good time. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Quack. Yeah, who's You're not even off? allowed. Quack. You're not even allowed to All right, eat wait, cheese. wait. This part's very difficult. We need to explain okay, it. Okay, okay I'm, off, I'm off the plate. Okay, okay. Get off the plate! <laughs> All right, the plate's already activated, so it's ruined. No. All right, no, notice. No, okay, so you see this part? This is the most spooky. cheesed part of the raid, okay? Yeah, like for example, <laughs> for example, if you do this just right, no, nope. you do it just right, nope. Look how perfect. Nope. That was. No, you didn't make it. <laughs> In this part of the raid, you want to activate the bridge. Odd little duck, thank you for the sub, dude. You're great, and I love you. And I also missed one above. Um, fuck. Oh, little duck made it. Plant City. Plant City. We all right, so... All right, this next part of the raid is very difficult and spoopy. You fall down, and it yeah, gets you... really dark and really spoopy. Really dark and spoopy. Make sure you bring your parachute. If you did not get a parachute from Azure on the weekend, you're not going to make it. There's no parachute. That's good. Sometimes you hit the ground really hard. And you die. Yeah, There's die nothing you can do about so that. Sometimes, die. sometimes you won't. Sometimes you'll take no damage, which is even weirder. Ow. All right. Standing on this plate will make it so you don't get a debuff at the start, which if you walk off, you now have something called Weight of Darkness, which is bad all the way to 10, making you slower and slower. The starting plate that has light under it will remove it from you. So once everyone gets here, hang out on the plate, and then, and then you can do dance to confirm everyone's here. Yep. You see that lantern over in the the distance? That That's a very also lantern. Yeah. That also removes your your weight of darkness. Um, one thing to note is when you're playing with a group, you don't want to activate the lantern until your group is ready to activate the lantern. Otherwise, you might end up fucking everybody in more than one way. One, they might not get cleansed of their weight of darkness. Two, they might get blown the fuck up because the lanterns do have a timer on them before they explode. Truth. You don't cool. want that crap. You don't want to do that. And also for those who Let's don't see, thank you for the stuff. On the left side uh, of where you so if you look at the lamp and look left, there's going to be a wall you could run towards. There's a couple door areas that if there is a uh, light above where it's at, there's a chest in there that will give you radiant materials starting uh, after the next patch. It used to be able to give you uh, exotics out of it too, but starting <clears> after <throat> the patch, it will no longer will. It'll just be radiant materials. And I think yep. possibly a class item. I don't know if that thing moves as well. But yeah. Uh, so you can actually go to the first door. Quack. You can go to the first that. door, die, and reset until it's there. It's 100% randomized because there's numerous doors in this area. But that's an easy way to get that chest. Cool. True. Are you guys right, ready so to do this thing? Three together. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Battle cool. buddy. Battle buddy, I'm here. Let's do it. Battle buddy. I already have my super up. This is gonna be silly. If you're a hunter, this part's really easy. <laughs> easy oh yeah, I forgot to put on any invisibility. Any. Yeah, if you put on a, uh, you could put on invisibility and then the don't touch me's, and you're just, you're just a happy clam. Let's go. Move it up. Uh, for the Our people in up. chat who are um, wondering why we're going over everything uh, with the patch that's coming out this week. Or is out already by the time you watch this video. Um, 
the raid is mostly cheeseless, except for that new cheese that got found today. Yeah, that's, that one that's, thing. I'm, that talking, I'm talking to future people, because I assume new cheese will be found. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Jesus. But this is how to this is how to do it because they changed the old cheese. Yeah. Yeah. They <laughs> found they found the right. um <laughs> they found the run over um Crota with a DeLorean cheese and that's spreading around a lot, so <laughs> uh, bad time. Yeah. Yeah, see Atheon shows up in a DeLorean. Thank you very and much, the Jay. Got the, got the Got the plutonium from the guys from Iran or Syria or wherever they were from. Um, one thing to note: if you are, if you're the first person, if you're the first person to a lantern, I recommend turning around and giving cover fire to everybody behind you. Yeah. Or if you're like coming up on a lantern, do that as well. It's a good thing to do for buds. If you have an AOE super, dropping it right before the entrance to a lantern's great because it'll make sure everything that's coming in behind you dies. Yeah, Another super, yeah. Really Everyone in a much safer situation. Another important thing is that there is a lot of holes that you go forward. So it's important to pay attention to what's uh, in front of you so that we don't fall down one of these big ass holes. Yeah, those Calling are bad. Is very important. Yeah, always call your hole. Every time. Yeah, always call yeah. your hole. Important. Oh, I got that. Yeah, I got that. Oh yeah, that was a sex joke. They made a sex joke. Oh. Nice sex joke, top sex. You, gotta your holes. you don't want anyone uh, turning around looking at you all mad. Uh, six. <laughs> the lanterns get all red I, and spoopy. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I got this all fine, you got. Cool, hey, we that, made it. When Super's already back. <laughs> Good stuff. That juju in here is just fucking great. Fucking it's great. super nice. Uh, it's to right, moving up left, right? Yeah, left. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, basically, with how many orbs you make between maybe you have red ge raid gear that helps increase when you kill stuff. You basically have super up all the time, at least somebody does. You can always kind of clear out the massive amount of people behind yeah. you. Um, somebody can. Maybe not everybody, but whether it's Golden Gun, Blade Dance, Striker, uh, Strike, Striker Slam, anything like that, just a freaking panic. Or Void Bomb, my personal favorite. I use the um I use the uh, Razor's Edge modification oh, to it's, it's to really um, Arc Blade here because it's great. That's a beautiful lady leaving. Bye, beautiful lady. It is so cold down here. I normally don't wear a jacket on like an actual coat on stream, but it's so cold down here that I have to wear one. Right now. Also, be careful not to bump your teammates into the hole. Dude, yeah, when you're. Or it's a fun mini game. <laughs> it's a fun. It's a super fun mini game. It's a, game. Such a fun mini game. Into the vault of glass. Quota's end. Son of a You'll bitch, get it. dude. Get it. I can, no, I won't. I'll I'll be calling House of Wolves vault of glass. <laughs> House of Crota's glass. Uh, House of glassy Crota. Man, that is one glassy Crota. Uh, up the hill. Yep, up the hill. yep, up the hill. We only got a couple more left. Uh, big hole, big hole somewhere, I think. The little holes yeah. in the big holes. Yeah. The little hole. I can't. I oh it. no! How to save so a teammate? T Rex dies. How to but save a teammate? Dies, you have to say quack. That's I'm probably gonna die trying to say. <laughs> I have to say quack. And then Did you get blown up or fall down a hole? I fell down the hole. Quack. Did the lantern get get activated? It sure oh, did. It's turbo activated. That's fine. What you can do is it ta it's slower, but if you all still move together, like you have enough firepower, even as all yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, God, so that's an example that can currently happen. Be little got uh, launched via the <laughs> lamp. Uh, yeah. That will no longer happen uh, after the patch. Safe it. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, we don't we don't mean to belittle you. Oh man, oh man. 
Oh man. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Top bun. All right, see, so there's two lanterns. You can either cut straight across to the last lantern, or you can come over here to this lantern, and then go to the last lantern. All right, well, let's make sure all together. You will be behind. Yep, oh, I'm not. Okay. I'm not activating it. I'm being smart. Cool. Big asshole right here. In front of this. Big lantern. asshole. Hold, hold your bed. Yeah, hold your bed. Quack. Smash. All right, there we go. And give the tip. Oh, it's Jay though. Oh God, he's finishing my punches. All right, we're almost up to the plate up here. Yeah. Once you arrive on this plate, you're going to have a repeat of what you did earlier, oh, which God. is you stand on the plate and then it extends a bridge. However, this time you're going to be assaulted by a bunch of dudes. Uh, they're going to be coming from everywhere. There's going to be two ogres that you need to watch out for. Yep. But the important thing to note is uh, you need to pay attention because it actually tells you when the bridge opens, and I actually die a lot because I'm not. Yeah. I don't. It says bridge is completed, and then all of your darkness weight goes away. You need to. Pay it's also a timed event. You don't have to kill like yeah. X amount of stuff. It's fully timed. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's very timed. But yeah. I would recommend killing stuff. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. <laughs> kill stuff. Um, if you if you have enough weight off of you, you can jump up on these pillars, either the one I'm on or the one next to me. And you can get a good vantage point on everything, and the thralls can't hit you, pretty much. And it's great. It's pretty and uh, you look Mr. cool. Mr. Ogre is up. Oop, Mr. Ogre, ogre, though, can definitely hit you. Monsieur yeah. Ogre. Uh, left Ogre. Uh, I think, yeah, I got him. First rocket, second rocket, he's done. Ogre should be done. Be close. Oh, no, by the way, uh, there's more than two Ogres. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's, there's more than two. Yeah, I just I killed uh, three now. Uh, oh what? Third? I got killed by the architect. I just swung forward. Oh no. I don't. I don't um, even, well, move forward. But I got melee killed. I don't know what happened. God I made got, it. He's our champion. I got catapulted forward. <laughs> <laughs> and died. Don't worry about it. You sound pretty worried about it. I, I, it was pretty spooky. I got killed by Crota's catapult. Oh man. We made it. All right. There you go. <laughs> that was scary. That's a little microphone on my shoulder for chat. Nice. Nice. All right, so this is the bridge, and this is commonly where people start cheesing the raid, right? Truth. Yeah. Yeah. So before before we go over everything, let's talk a little bit about the mechanics of how this bridge works. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So, on either side of this bridge here, there is an activation platform. Yes. When someone is standing on the activation platform, it does two things. One, it opens the bridge up. Two, it activates these annihilator totems. Those when are the bad. annihilator totems are active, you have to have somebody standing on their plates to keep them from killing your whole party. Yep. Um, so the strategy that we're going to be using is we're going to send three across. Thank you, Bryce. And after we have three across, we're going to take the, the person who's on the activation plate on this side off. So yep. everyone over here is allowed to free roam and lock down the other side. Once you get all six people across the bridge... Nobody needs to stand on the plate. You can all run around willy-nilly and shoot everyone however you want because you made it. Yes. You made it. You made it. You made it. So basically, covering that again, center plate activates two totems. Um, each center plates are um, independent of each other, so if you activate one to keep the bridge going on the other side, you can come off this one over here, and everybody can come off the Annihilator Totems over here, but these Annihilator Totems over here need to have people on them as long as this plate is activated. Capiche? Have we discussed yeah. uh, Sword Bears yet? Sword Bears! That's the next thing! T-Rex! Yeah. I was gonna ask T-Rex. Yeah. Oh, what look at that. that. So, uh, while we're fighting off waves... So once again, the theme of this is fighting off waves and waves of Hive. Uh, as you are doing all the stuff, keeping the annihilator totems at bay, standing on the plate to extend the bridge, there is going to be from the, uh, there's no direction, so from where you were at, 
there's uh, basically a giant ramp coming down from some stairs. From that side, uh, opposite you are, where you are at, there's going to be a red knight called a sword bear showing up. Uh, is he level 31, I believe? On normal he's, yes, he's thir yes, he's 31 Great. on normal mode. So he's going to show up. Uh, he's going to come down. He's going to try and push your shit in. What you're going to do is you are going to do your best uh, to kill him. And once you kill him, he drops a sword, much like the swords in the story missions, uh, as well as around Earth and the Moon in the um, patrol missions. You're going to take that sword, and then you can walk across the bridge. What uh, happens if I tried to cross the bridge without the sword? You die. You see that you die. that's kind of just yeah. in the air, just hanging oh, out? Yeah. yeah, that murders you. And <laughs> you only get not murdered when you have the sword. And yeah. then on the other side, there's going to be a blue knight called a gatekeeper, which can only be damaged with the sword. Uh, he is going to be 31 as well. If you are level 30, it'll take five art, like uh, right trigger heavy hits from your sword to kill him, and he can two-shot you. Uh, if you are below 30, he will one-shot you. Dead, uh, yeah. So if you have a blind mechanic with your grenades, or do your best to just juke him out, uh, he can be stun-locked, but still, just be careful. He's kind of a bitch. And then after that, you do it two more times till it's three and three, and then you do what we said earlier. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, uh, I'll take middle with my battle buddy. Uh, I will take right with my battle buddy. All right, cool. Devastate. I'll take. I'll, I will take left with B little. All right. Activating. Wait, is it stage left or, or left? Oh God! <laughs> Bryce, thank you for the five dollar tip, man. I I ain't wrong. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Also, you guys, yeah, make sure you quantify with the rest of your raid team whether you're using normal instructions or stage instructions, which is apparently how Goth was trained to do raid things. Because <laughs> smart brains. Go, go Devastator, go! Go, get it, go! Get it, go do the thing! thing. Uh, I'll get it, fuck. Alright, <laughs> T-Rex is gonna get the first sword. You, really? I don't have time. <laughs> no, I was just. I was, <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. I just wanted. No, to No, I was it. just. I was literally shooting. I don't know. Uh, if you're 32, it takes three hits to kill the gatekeeper, and then he's dead. Um, it's also beneficial if you can to have one person who stays solid on the plate, and then one person who sort of floats and yeah. kills everything he can. Um, and yeah. All right, Devastator, you get this one, okay? Devastator, grab the next sword. All right. All right. Uh, while you're on the other side, you're fighting waves of hollowed knights, acolytes, and thralls as well. And it gets amped up later, but make sure you're always focusing down the hollowed knights because they will, once again, push your shit in. Yeah, they're rude. Uh, if you're on the other side, you can <laughs> just jump over the gatekeeper. He's pretty dumb. I mean, he's just a standard knight. And uh, he wants to slash you. Just do your best not to get slashed, and you'll be okay. He wants to slash you. He does. He it's his mission. Uh, it, uh... Cool. Also, when we get if you the... Have the sword, it's very helpful if you focus down the hollowed knights that spawn while you still yes. have it. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, you also have your super towards the end of you possessing the sword, which can really fuck him up. Which I recommend. So after we get one more person over, um, which let's send B little. B little, get the next sword. So you could come off the plate and go engage the sword bear, be little. Oh, he wants to come play with over here. Ah, hey, leave me alone. He's doing stuff. Also, be careful not to knock them off the edge, because then you also lose the sword. Yes, that is true. Um, when B Little gets across, uh, they will have enough people to um, take both Annihilator Totems and the center plate, which means that we are free to roam over here, and there are a couple um, safe spots that are kind of smart to stand on. Yeah. And Broman, Broman will lead us over there the when that time comes. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, we're gonna go over to the right side. All right, he's down. I'll take left because usually on the opposite side of the bridge. The side that has uh, stairs going down typically has wizards and such, so that actually might be a more difficult side. Oh, wow, he just... Uh, can you tell there. Devastation to stand on the plate, please? Uh, Devastation, stand on the middle plate. Thank you. All right. He is not standing on the Yeah, side. so basically grouping up 
is the safest thing to do uh, on this. On the you can even side. you can even jump up on here, on the side pillars if you want. Yeah, I'm probably maybe gonna to die. The, the weak pillars. Oh God! You uh, should. Yeah, be I'm able down. To, uh, yeah. Okay, you're already off everything. All right, cool. I yeah. will. The bridge is not. Formed. You. The bridge is not formed, so be careful. Garbage. All right, bridge but is good. Yeah, if the bridge is not fully formed, try your best to not kill the sword bear uh, right away. Do your wow, best I'm to just kind of hold it out. That is not good. This is bad. <laughs> this is uh, bad. I can lay down. This is very bad. I can try and help out it from across the way. I'm putting down as many bolts as I can. Yeah, see, dark um, where Dark Tortuga is is the smart spot. That's staying down spot. there where we were. Right. I've was gotten dumb. most of the knights down, uh, minus the sword bear. Okay. Yeah, I'm back up. All the knights should be down. That is not the sword bearer over on your side. I killed three of them. You okay. should be good. Okay, and we're gonna get the thing. Good job. You did it. Hey, there we go. I'm just, uh, you can yeah. If you're on the opposite side, by the way, and there's nothing spawning, do your best to support the other side with uh, supers, whatever you can, sniping. There's a lot of ways you can help out. Uh, devastating. A lot uh, of ways you can help. It's gonna help. Wow, really? I'm just gonna go ahead and yeah, this this sword bear is a complete. This guy, he's a complete he turd. So spooky right now. He's getting all his health back from downtown all of the time. He just won't die. Just die, I dude. I can't. You can't. Shoot. Okay, he's down. Okay, uh, he's down. He's down. He's down. Super spoopy health regen. That was that was ridiculous. So again, um, one of the problems with the vault of glass with health was health regenerating yeah. enemies it is still a problem. Um, Tartuga, you're going to go across next. Probably. Okay, never mind. Yeah. So be careful when you are on the middle plate fighting against the gatekeeper that you don't uh, jump off the plate too early and trap your teammate running across because if they don't, if they aren't aware, like you can jump the last bit of it, but um, that can really screw you over uh, if you do it wrong. Yeah. <clears throat> Now that I'm over here, I'm probably just gonna free float and help wherever I feel like needs help. As the fourth you know person over. I'm okay for now. Yeah. yeah. It's really, I, it's nice being able to one shot the anything that's not a major. Mr. Hollowed Wizard, you oh. are dead. Sweet. Wizard's dead on my side. Uh. Oh, uh, I can try and help. Oh, nope, you got it. Dark Tortuga's gonna go. Yep. I got it. All right. Top um, I sword. Can... I'm gonna try and super them from really far away and see if I can do it. I doubt it. Hey, I got a Ah, you did it! <laughs> nice, nice lance, bruh. Oh god, I hope I don't die. Oh, no, I'm good. I almost made a mistake. Yeah, guys, no, Vaults of Glass had health regenerating Praetorians and, uh, Protozen. Just the majors, the majors of instances oh, majors like to get the yeah, The majors like to regenerate. Their buttholes. Yeah. Confirmed the boot hole. Uh, Brahman, it looks like your sword guy's up in the center. Yeah, I see him. If you guys got rockets from over here, that's all, that's always really helpful for the last guy. For you, uh, oh, Lord. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Alright, I'm gonna I'm trying to take out the knights for you. The last closer. part is uh, uh, not fun. Alright, um. Yeah, I'm trying my best to help you out. But there's a lot of things they're hiding behind. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Why was that night? What? Uh, yeah, I saw it. I, that's weird. Uh, okay, I'm putting bullets on him. He's literally just him. disappeared. He did. I watched it happen. It's okay. <laughs> I, I watched it happen, buddy. I was, I, I was getting a beat on him, and then he just wasn't there anymore. There Don't worry Crossing about it. You guys seem pretty worried about it. Crossing the bridge. All right. After everyone crosses the bridge, you will Every, yeah. off enough enemies until two ogres come off the night. center. Sorry. And yep. then a wizard uh, in the middle spawns. Once you kill all of them, this part will be complete. Yep. 
Yay, we didn't cheese it, and we did it without a wipe, so yay us. We did it! Woo! You Knock guys did it. Knock on wood, we're gonna get destroyed now. Yeah, probably. Hey. These ogres no. are strong. Oh. These ogres are made of strong. Very strong. Did we did we mention in the beginning of the video that we're doing this with three people who have either never had an opportunity to not did. cheese? Yeah. Um, the folks with us have either not been able to find a group that'll do it legit on the LFG, or they've not completed the raid at all. Um, and that's kind of the point of the raid clinic, is to bring people through, and ironically, only me and Broman have died, so, yay! Hey! I died too, but I don't count my death as... I got launched into space by something, I don't know what it yeah, was. Yeah, you got super exploded. Hey, okay. Alright, uh, ogre. Left side ogre's down. Hey! Yep. Awesome! Alright, so this... This next okay. part, there's a long hallway. And at, uh, in, in the middle of the hallways, there are shriekers. And when you kill the shriekers, they're gonna splod. And it's gonna break glass, but the splod can also kill you. Um, after you kill the final shrieker, the point is to try to get, um, someone down to the end of the hallway. Because that will, um, there's gonna be a door that's closing, like Indiana Jones. And it's great. I'm, uh... Oh, oh no! Uh, no! I died. I, did, I couldn't be the hero. <laughs> I fell down! And we didn't make it to the door. <laughs> oh, no! I, I failed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was there. I had it, and then I fell. Uh, I'm sorry. I tried to avoid a splody McDickerson, yeah. and then I did So the point is to make it through this door without it closing, and none of us did it. It's really easy if you have a blade dancer, just jump over and just go to it. Yeah. Uh, and once someone's inside of it, they can open it from down. their side. Well, it'll just happen automatically, so that way everyone gets the chest. It's not just those who make it in, because that would really suck. I'm sad that I fell in the hole. Hi, guys. Can you, can you like, put down a ladder or something? Now we're done. No? Ow! That is not a ladder. That was a grenade. Yeah. Not but as soon as you send someone through there, uh, you're actually fine. Uh, you don't have to get everyone through. They can go in and open the door for the rest of everyone else. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yes. The time you can the wipe and redo it. Uh, I don't want to wipe and redo it. Yeah. But Everybody's timer, already down here. Start from when you open the first door, or is it from when you kill the I last? I think it's. Shrieker? I think it's the fat, the last shrieker. To be honest with you, I would. I, we haven't tested it, but I'm assuming it's the last shrieker. But just do your best just to book it, and then you'll be fine. All right, so this next part um, I'm gonna pop is is this. the yeah is ear you. Um, when you hit your first night out here, she's gonna start singing a song. How long is it before she starts her death shit? Exactly uh, two and a half minutes, and then the last thirty seconds she stands still. So basically, when you come out, we're gonna be in a courtyard. It's symmetrical. Um, to the upper left side, there's gonna be a doorway in there. There's gonna be a witch that will come out to try to kill you. After you kill the witch, you could kill a shrieker. On the other side, there's an identical happening where you kill a witch and then you kill a shrieker. When you kill each shrieker on either side, it will break the glass, and that's when you can engage your you. Like you said, you got it um, two and a half minutes, and then she does a song, which is how long? Thirty seconds, and then everybody dies. Yep. Yep. Liturgy. Yep. Yeah. So um, one strat that exists is to kill everything except for her, and then once she stands, so she doesn't move when she's casting lith uh, liturgy at the very end, the last 30 seconds. So some people prefer to just wait it out, because she jukes super hard when she's in when she's not casting Lethargy. It's really yeah. difficult to do damage to her, which is why I believe that some of the things have, have tracking on them, so you can't miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Uh, do, are we doing the pull strat, or are we doing the grenade strat? Um, let's do the pull strat. Okay, because yeah. that's more accessible. Yeah, oh, um, basically, uh, we send uh, one person uh, to the left side or stage right, and um, everybody else goes towards the back of the arena and waits for the witches to come out. <laughs> and another person goes to the right and pulls a witch. So I'll pull the left witch. Uh, who wants to pull the right witch? I'll pull the right witch. Okay. Um, the other strat that I was speaking of, if you have a Sunsinger Warlock that has Gift of the Sun, you can equip solar grenades, and you see right uh, to the left and right of this big crystal shooting downwards, you can see the wizards actually in there. Yeah. And if you throw uh, grenades right below them, they'll pull them that way as well. But be warned, they will come very far out of their room 
So be wary of when you yeah, yeah. they get mad. So they get super mad. You very quickly. Um, so fun. basically, the longer you wait to shoot these two hollowed knights here, is the longer it takes before she starts her her song and kills her everybody. Song. Yeah, yeah. But you'll see it in the text. It'll say so and so does the yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. You ready? They're yep. walking yep. around like they're fucking champions. Right. Let's go. That was weird. So there you go. See, Death Singer repairs her song. Um, that's how you know you've done it correctly. Sometimes she has been known to bug out and not sing her song, yep. which causes a whole mess of problems. Yep, and now my witch is out, so I'm going to go hide in the back. With all the rubble. Yep. Witch is out my on... Witch. No, she's not quite out yet. Witch is out on left. Awesome. Rock it out on that. Witch is out on right. Left witch right, is right, down, down on left. Right. Oh. Shot a for no All right, I'm gonna go in and kill the Shrieker as soon as she's down. All right. Uh, uh, I'll get, uh, okay, you got left Shrieker, Roman? Cool. Yeah, I got it. You got nice behind, you'll try to, I'll try to engage him. Uh, Shrieker is down. All My right. Shrieker is down. Whoever's killing the Shriekers, make sure to get out of the room, because they will kill you pretty quickly. Death Blast is um, After yeah, all the Shriekers are down, it's smart to go over to the left side, stage left side. Because um, there's a shitload of knights on the other side. Yeah, it's it's a little absurd. I would say probably ten majors are over there. Yeah. Um, yeah. and they they're just they're just not fun. They don't have any friends. They want to invite you to a party, um, but they 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 carded you and didn't have a card and they just got mad about it. Yeah. Uh, so you use... uh, in... go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say you can use the back parts of the room to stand on top of these uh, doors, and then the knights with yep. swords can't hit you. Um, and then you can wait for her to kind of pop her head around, and then you can shoot her with rockets or snipers or whatever's best for you. But that's one way of doing it. Um, but it at least saves you the trouble of having to fight the uh, the knights that have swords, because they can, once again, just kind of fuck you up. I am not hitting her at all. <laughs> yeah. I missed four of my rockets. Alright, uh, I kinda wanna... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, we should probably see make her cast her thing, because that way they knew it. Yeah, right. let's like, do that. I mean, I'm gonna like, res our guys. She's already dead. Oh, she is? Yeah. yeah. But okay, well, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Right as she says, uh, Death Singer starts singing her song, uh, at exactly two and a half minutes, she will start casting a thing called Lithurgy, which locks her in place. The screen goes kinda wonky, um, kinda like you're being killed by an oracle a little bit, and then, uh... Flashed. Flash is red. There you go. And then uh, you will, after 30 seconds, just be dead if you don't kill yeah, them. Yeah, super dead. Afterwards, you have to kill all the majors in the area, uh, or else you'll have things that spawn forever. That's the simple yeah, way. Yeah, so we're gonna, yeah, you can work on that. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna so basically, you have to kill enough of the um, the hollowed knights to trigger the next um, portion, uh, the the crota fight. And it'll and it will update your tracker for it. Yeah, right it'll now, let you still, know. It still says reach the summoning crystal. Uh, it'll get a new mission objective, and then you know you've done it. Okay. It's super cool like that. It's oh mega cool. Turbo. Oh. Cool. Thank you. Can't punch anything today. Top dunk. <laughs> nice. Lance has actually been nice. I haven't been missing my bombs. Nice. Which, All right, see, we just way, got our update. It's a lot of bombs. Before we move on to the next part, we want to clear out all the Hollowed Knights, but you want to go over some of the mechanics of the next fight while we're clearing this out, T-Rex? Uh, sure. So, basically, uh, the next fight is the last fight in the current normal raid, which is called uh, Crota. So, he is a big blue knight that's about probably three or four times the size of your normal knight. Uh, he was mm -hmm. ethereal, and he's a scary-ass motherfucker. Uh, the way you summon him is by standing next to this big-ass green crystal that the uh, Death Singer was at. After you do that, you'll first, you'll notice something called Presence of Crota become active. What Presence of Crota is, uh, you no longer have standard health regen. Nope. Uh, you can still regen health by Suros and Red Death, and other abilities that allow you to regen health via their uh, perks of whatever kind. But standard regen no longer happens. The only way you get health back normally is in the middle in front of Crota, there is a giant light. Uh, it's very hard to miss. It is the Chalice. If you possess the Chalice, your health regen uh, works again. 
And you can pass it to one another via the grab, like, you know, whatever your use button is. Uh, you yeah. can pass it to one another that way. Um, so another thing is if you die during this fight, once you're out of uh, the beginning phase where you fight out from the crystal, which, by the way, once you activate Crota and he spawns, the doors around you will shut. You'll get presence of Crota. And on your left and right side, a whole bunch of Hive are going to spawn and look at you like you're the craziest motherfucker on the planet. Uh, after you fight through them, once you're out and about and actually fighting Crota, if you die, a big, big green orb will spawn right behind Crota. You will not be able to miss it. You will know it's there. It's called an Oversoul. Uh, if you do not, you have to shoot the Oversoul and kill it before it kills you. Uh, I don't know the time. Is it 10 seconds? Less it's than that? It's not a long uh, time. You have, it's a countdown. Seven? I don't know. It's a countdown. And you'll feel it. Like, it, you're, it, the screen changes and all that stuff, and it gets scary. Um, but yeah. So don't die or else that happens. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we have Friends of Crota, Oversoul, fighting out from the outside. Um, yep. On the left and right sides of Crota, there will be sets of knights with uh, boomer guns. Uh, two and two on the left and right side up here in the towers that will shoot on your side uh, at you. If you kill them both, after a little while, a sword knight will spawn and then jump on the bridge and run towards you. Uh, make sure that whoever... I, I highly recommend someone is dedicated just to dealing with those units. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, because of the fact you can't get health regen, they can fuck you up real fast. Um, does someone else want to explain Crota? Sure! Oh, I'll explain. There, I'm <laughs> talking about Gauss is always a sword bearer. Gauss should explain the sword mechanics. Um, sword mechanics. Uh, there's going to be a sword bearer that spawns uh, during this fight periodically. Um, he comes from this door in the center, and you kind of want to pull him over towards the stairs over here. This is um, the way that we run this fight. We come out here to the left first. We kill the sword bearer. Um, when the sword is dropped, uh, your designated sword bearer wants to grab it, and he will call out for damage on Crota when he's ready to jump up and kill Crota. Um, everybody will then shoot the rockets, do their heavy damage, and bring down Crota's shield. When his shield is down, he will take a knee, and there's a short period of time where the sword bearer is able to actually damage Crota with the sword and then get the fuck out. Um, you're going to be able to do a couple rotations of that, um, you're, I think it's two swords and then ogres spawn, correct? Yep. So, um, Crota will be here in the center, and then he'll run over on this side, and then he will end up coming back. Once he's in the middle and you use your second sword, the entire team wants to rotate over to the other side because Crota is going to rotate over onto stage right or left side. Um, when he's over on left side, two ogres will be down here. You kill the ogres, you wait for him to rotate back to the middle, and everybody comes back over to this side, gets the sword, wash, rinse, repeat. Did I miss anything? Nope. Cool, we that made it! Yay! We made it! We made it! Let's go summon the nerd. Yeah, let's right. do that. Let's do it. I was typing an essay. I did it. An, en an entire essay? Dude, yeah, I already sent it to Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Newt Figgums, my English teacher. I do not have an English teacher named Newt Figgums. Also, Blade Dancers can do Razor's Edge through this little gate thing, as I'm about to do. Oh, yeah. Razor's Edge through the yep. gate's awesome. Um, looks like I'll focus right, because no one else is looking over here. Help you out, Brahmin. I'm gonna do Shockwave and see if that goes through. Let's find out. Shockwave! Oh, it's already gone. Damn it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Once you're 32, by the way, the knights that are not majors can get one shot uh, by an icebreaker, and I'm assuming a black hammer. I just choose to use the icebreaker over the black hammer. Broman, are you grabbing the, the chalice? Yeah, I'm, I'm grabbing the chalice. Okay. Uh, I got the, uh, everything dead over here, Broman. You can go right. push all the way out. Yep. Crota, why are you running at me? That was weird. Uh, sword bearer is up, and I'm gonna try and make him do a silly dance near me. Cool. Alright, uh, I got boomers. First one. Look at me, nerd! Look at me! I'm so yeah. scary! Kick my ass! Alright, uh, sword bearer is down. Alright. Alright, have. Go ahead and do damage. Killed my on bridge. Alright, All right. rockets out. Rockets out. Rockets down. are easily, easiest. <clears throat> are by far the fastest way and most guaranteed way to take down Crota's shield. Alright, now? Uh, now? 
careful, there's a hive coming up. Good job. That's very good. Something you'll see Goth doing to move away quickly is uh, sword dashing. If you mm -hmm. attack, right, the R1 attack moves your character very quickly, especially while you're in the air. So if you jump and spam it, it gets you away from Crota a lot faster than if you were running on foot. Uh, there's another Boomer up. No, it's a knight. Oh, oh, that's a sword ready. knight. I got him. Which, nice which, orbs which down there. Him. So Anyone Crota's over there any? now. So um, we're going to wait for the sword bear to come out. We're not going to immediately kill the sword bear. We're going to bring him down to a little bit of health. And then when Crota moves back to the center, we're going to burn the sword bear. Sound good? Yeah. I cool. think that sounds like a great idea. I think it's out the first uh, right. Yeah, he need come up with the chalice, bro, man. He needs the oh, chalice okay. from you. Yeah, I'm I'm baiting. Okay. All right, grab it, grab it. Boomer's dead. Sorry. I um, was put start putting damage into the sword bear, light damage. Get him down a little bit. But do not kill. I will call for kill. I got knight on bridge. Dead. Kill sword bear. Well, just, just say when. He did. Were you putting bullets on him or? Um, yeah, go ahead and put bullets on him. Rock it out. Rock it out. He's down. I got boomers. Do it as soon as you can. All right. Rockets out. Oh, get him. Get him, 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 get him. Get him. Oh, come on. Yeah! Boom! Two rotation. <laughs> Very good. The knight jumped on the bridge and he just fell apart as he hit the bridge. That was awesome. <laughs> that is uh, 100 credits in. But usually it's a lot harder if you don't have a 32 because the damage you have is. So yeah, much, much lower. Better. Yeah. That was absolutely this. fantastic. Uh, I would like to say thank you to Devastation, Dark Tortuga, and B Little for joining us for yeah. a fantastic raid tutorial experience. You guys did fantastic. Can we clap up for them, guys? That's I feel right. silly crapping, clapping into a microphone, to be honest. We did a uh, shh. Bam! <laughs> thing that uh, we did not talk about, but you might run into when you're doing the raid, is uh, Crota has an enrage counter. It is oh, eight yeah. minutes from the start of the fight until he hits enrage, and when he hits enrage, he spams over souls. So it becomes extremely difficult for you to um, I would Crota. Venture, I would venture to say impossible. 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 I would say. I would say impossible. Because you have well. to have people focus over soul damage Crota and take out the sword bears along with over spawning. Um, uh, Enrich uh, is not something that you want to deal with with Crota. Do we discuss like what happens after you? Let's say you don't kill him there. What happens next? Do we discuss that? After two swords, uh, I, we got got talked about. Oh yeah, it, I said after, the ogres. The ogres agent, spawn. I, I couldn't, I couldn't. After two swords, two ogres, two hallowed ogres spawn. You have to wipe both of them before you can get the sword bears to spawn again. Yep. Cool. Well, guys, thanks for playing. And everybody on YouTube, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys back inside Destiny. Thanks! Boom!